Okay. Gamak Java. Hello, dear students. Today, it's my pleasure to introduce you our instructor, Ranjit Kumar. He will be leading our course for Android certified developer. And today, you will be able to learn more about his experience and more details about the course and the certification. Hello, Ranjit. Yeah, hi, Nicole. Ranjit, tell our students more about yourself, your experience, and how many years have you been working in IT industry? Uh, thank you. Hi, Nikolai. Greetings of the day, everyone. So I'm Ranjit. I'm working with Android for the past 10 years. So I have delivered multiple training programs across the globe. So uh, multiple corporate trainings, college workshops, individual classroom sessions, online programs, so I have done multiple programs. Many of my students are working in a different big companies. So this is what I'm basically from India, and this is all about me. Mm -hmm. uh, can, uh, can you tell to our students uh, how Android is different from other platforms regarding development of software, of course? So every day we are waking up with the mobile, right? So Android, basically mobile is the integral part of our life. And also Android is the most widely used mobile platform, right? So as of now, it's inevitable. Android development is in huge demand. It is having huge demand. So, you know, instead of learning something else, you know, uh, when you run some application, you can able to know and you can see the output in your mobile itself. So you know what you are doing very well. So it's going to be more interesting and it's currently in high demand. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about the course? What topic will be covered and uh, what practical exercises will be in it? So in this course, everything is going to be focusing on completing this Google Android developer certification. So for the Android developer certification, you need uh, like basics and most important things like uh, UI development, small testing, work manager, uh, MVVM, design patterns. So these are the things. So once you complete this program, this course, you can able to pass the exam, Google certification. So that's how it is designed. Okay. Uh, can you share your screen and show some examples of exercises that uh, our students will be working on? Okay, so there are multiple applications, a lot more applications students have done it. So I will share you something, um, what one of the students developed. Okay, let me share my screen. I'll show you the output. Just a minute. So this is the output of a student. So they started from zero and this is the final output. So we have one login screen, we can enter our employee. This is the social neutral for the particular company. Okay. So if you are typing some wrong number ID, so it's going to show error, but when you are typing it correctly, you can able to sign up. You know, once you are going to sign up, it will ask you what is the bio net, what's your bio about your bio name and everything. So it's kind of a small social media app student developed it. I can make it faster. Yeah. So this is kind of happened. Many are there and maybe when you Want it more, you can reach us and we will show more, more applications than for users, than for students. You see, kind of a feed. Everything is working. The data is coming from internet. We are doing an API call and the backend is done by other students, by different uh, department. And now we are getting the data and showing the data. So it is having a lot of features. So 
you can sign in, you can sign up, you can edit your profile, you can make a new post and you can see some other post. So this is a small example. So everything can be done, whatever the idea you have in your mind that can be developed as an ad data. Thank you. Uh, uh, from your personal point of view, why should our Georgian uh, students apply for this course? You know, you are going for an interview, okay? You are going for a hundred developer interview and hundred students, hundred candidates are coming for the interview. So if you are the one done certification and you will be given the job, you know, you can perform well and they will give you priority to you, to you because they already know you, you are certified by Google. So it's an added advantage. That's the main point. Yes, uh, we can say that uh, usually people with certificate are uh, at least uh, called uh, or invited today. Is, it is usually a video interview. Yeah, that's a good point. Even the interview itself, they will ask, okay, we, we want only the candidates who completed certification. So that time you are ahead of the competition. And uh, can you tell more uh, about this uh, international certificate from, uh, from uh, Google? Is this by Google and it's an internationally accepted certificate. Okay, so and the exam process is going to be they will give you a project which is almost kind of 50 to 80 percent completed project, and you will be asked to complete what is not completed, like adding notification, adding uh, completing the whole flow of this application and doing some small testing. So if you can be able to complete this, I mean you can be able to complete it only when you are aware of the concepts very well theory as well as coding and if you are trained well if you are practiced well definitely you can clear that with the right guidance and, uh, how much uh, time uh, is uh, needed uh, for for the for the exam yeah. itself it's eight hours they will give you eight hours to complete and submit the project mm -hmm. eight hours so uh, our, uh, our uh, student uh, need to to find a, a good uh, slots of uh, eight hours when they yep. will be full of energy if they are uh, morning people then they should start the exam in morning if they are uh, late or evening people they can schedule the exam uh, at their evening yes i yeah i think i prefer uh, i mean it's definitely their preference but i recommend to do it in the morning Yes, yes. Uh, uh, the morning, uh, usually the brain is uh, more fresh. And uh, from my experience, uh, I have been on um, over 30 exams and uh, only in Microsoft, uh, other technologies are uh, more. And uh, when I pass uh, exams uh, on the morning, uh, on three hours exam, I pass them uh, for one hour. When I go in afternoon, the same, uh, of course, this is different, but the same uh, kind of exam. Again, three hours. I uh, pass the exam for two hours. And uh, some, uh, maybe two times, I go to exam on uh, six o'clock at the evening. And I almost uh, just in the last second go to the last question. So that, this is... Uh, Generally, it is good to be in morning. And, See, uh, when, you are, when you are taking this exam in the morning, you know the time is going. You know, you started in the morning, you see, you can feel the afternoon, you can feel the evening, you know the time is going. But when you take the exam in night, you don't know how the time is going. That is also one of the advantage. Uh, time is Past in the evening, yeah. Yes. Uh, what uh, a student uh, need to know in order to pass uh, this exam for first time? Okay, so you know that mainly they are concentrating on design pattern, recycler view, paging library, work manager, notification. Like some technical topics are there. As you are not into Android, you may not be understanding this. So these are the topics they are asking. Some testing. Espresso, UI, automation testing, unit testing. So these are the questions generally is asked. And, uh, what is uh, the structure of each uh, class session? 
You mean how the program will go, yes. right? Uh, will you have a uh, bot theory and practical exercise in uh, the same class session or what are the proportion also? Even if I'm Android, uh, there is no theory. No one is going to take the whiteboard and teach nothing. So everything is going to be practical. So I usually tell to students, learning Android is similar to learning swimming. Because if you are not going inside the water, you cannot learn swimming by asking someone, reading book like that, right? Same Android, you just, you just have to code, practice, run and see the output. That's how you can learn. So it's going to be full and full practical, of course. And uh, what uh, skills our uh, students need to have before joining uh, this class? I think for that I need to share on PPT what I prepared. Okay. See, this is uh, what you should learn in Kotlin, and we are going to learn with Java, right? So, let me. Yes. Uh, is this a course for a junior uh, or for some uh, prerequisites as a programming developer? So actually, these are the topics you need to be aware of before starting this course, because this is some basics of Java, what is class, what is method. So if you can, if you, if you know this and you are ready to start and to learn this, if you ask me, it won't take more than three days. This is enough to start the program and I have prepared something about me for the, your first question. So basically, this is me, so you can see my different programs all over the world, different colleges, corporate. Teaching is my passion, Android is my interest. That's why I'm Android instructor now. So some programs of me, if you just Google my name, just KP yes, Rajit, yes. you will come. Oh, more details about my feedbacks and previous work and everything. I have some pages, many other. Yes, um, I know this. Uh, it is really uh, exactly as you say. And uh, I see uh, two versions of exam. One is uh, Kotlin and another is Java. Can you tell for our students what is the difference between them? So Kotlin is a newly launched programming language for Android development. So it's official to develop Android application with the Kotlin. And also it's okay. You can, it's okay to develop Android development with Java because Java is uh, Earlier we started with the Java and now it's updated to Kotlin. You are okay to do if you are if you are new to this programming, you can start with Java and later you can update yourself to Kotlin because both are almost same. Java and Kotlin, almost uh, seventy to eighty percent is their same same concept. Everything is same. So the only thing is more simplified version of Java is Kotlin. It's okay. Especially for both Android. Are, uh, not only for Android. Kotlin itself is a separate programming language. We are using that in Android app development. Okay, thank you. And uh, what kind of uh, homeworks uh, will you have for students? That's a good question. So every day I'll be giving them task. I I teach them something and I ask them to do. They need. I will give them some task. Okay, complete this screen, complete this functionality, complete this app, complete this model. Every day, based on what they have learned, I will give them the task. Next morning, I ask them present what you have done, and I will be asking them if you have any questions, and I'll be helping them. It's going to be full, uh, full of uh, very good learning session. I can see my feedback. How is my how is my class will be in the internet? Yeah. And um, some something important for for the students is is they they need to have. Uh, a practical uh, project, uh, something uh, from beginning to end that can be shown to future employer. Uh, our project, our students uh, are young, average age is 26 about, and some of them uh, have only academic background, and some have more experience. 
So, uh, what kind of uh, practical assignment or course project uh, they will do during the course? So, usually I have a set of uh, projects and assignments that I give to students. And one more thing I ask, ask them is, I ask them to present their ideas. Whatever the idea they have, I ask them to develop Android applications on their own, and I'll be guiding them, helping them completing it. So the answer is both I do. I have a set of assignments. They will be doing it as well as I ask them, do you have any idea? And I ask them to think something on their own and I'll be helping them completing it. And um, what uh, job positions are suitable for uh, students that just pass uh, onto it uh, certification course? See, uh, if you complete this certification, if you learn Android development, you can become an Android developer as well as you can go for a UI development also. There is some technical profile called UI UX developer, Android developer. There are actually currently Android is one of the booming technology. If you if you have some, if you give me someone who completed Android, I can get them job because there are a lot of job openings there right now. Every day myself is getting at least one call, one recommend call. They are asking candidate, but there is no qualified candidates in the market. Companies are ready to hire people, but there is no trained people out there, according to me. Are there some study materials that uh, students need to go before the course in order to benefit more from your te teaching? As I have shared you the Java topics, right? So that would be helpful if they are if they are aware of that. That should be enough, and I will be sharing them soft copy of materials. It's going to be helpful. Materials. Uh, uh, can you share your story uh, when you are in beginning of uh, your career? How learning a certification influenced your development? Okay. Uh, Good question. Actually, I started, I studied engineering, which is not non-IT. Okay, I, it was not related to software. I completed my engineering and then I chose Android on my own. I learned Android and then I'm attending a lot of interviews. You don't believe me, I have attended 30 plus interviews so far in my life. Well, not only Android, different uh, question also. So at that time, I haven't completed. There is no certification, I think, by 2011, 12, something like that. So because of not completing certification, I attended a lot of interview. I gained a lot of experience. So if you have a certification, it's going to be, and as I told you in the beginning, you are going to be ahead of your competition. As of now, many people are learning Android, but they should learn from a right place and they should uh, have a good guidance. They should practice well. Right? Many, like, uh, I can see a lot of institutes here in my place also. They simply say, I have a trainer, we teach Android, but no, I don't think they are doing good. They should learn from a good place, but when they learn it, definitely they can get a good job. They have a good career. And one more thing is, there is no age constraints. You, If you are a doctor, if you are an engineer, if you are a plumber, whoever you are, whatever age, you can learn Android. Definitely you get benefited from Android. I can also share you some information about what are the ways you can learn, you can earn through Android. I have a prepared something that is here. Yeah, this one. So ways which you can through, you can earn from Android. You can develop application. You no need to work for anyone. You can develop an Android app. You can launch it in Play Store. If you are launching it as a free, and you will be earning through advertisement. If you are okay, launching as a paid, of course you get paid. And freelance projects. You know, in India, in world, there are a lot of problems, right? What are the problem you have in real life that can be developed as an Android app as a solution, right? For example, Uber is a solution. That's an idea, right? Uber. That is just connecting the driver and the user, right? Like that. Many ideas are there for that you can develop a project, you can sell it to your client, whoever is. And of course, you can teach Android, that's what I'm doing. And most importantly, you can get a job as Android developer. And more are there, this is tough, tough for Many, many, many are there. Well, there is a joke that uh, the best way to learn something is uh, to start uh, teach, teach it. Uh, this is a little bit job, but uh, uh, 
during teaching, teachers, uh, uh, or as we call them, uh, trainers or instructors, they are searching for uh, more and more ways to explain the same thing to other people. And uh, during this uh, research, it is uh, really, really, uh, you come to very, very deep understanding of the, of the subject. And uh, can you give an example of, uh, of companies that uh, need uh, Android developers? Um, basically, any software company, right? So mobile app, mobile app is for everyone. So if you, if for New Horizon, if they want to handle the students, how many are registering, how many are enrolling, how many, what is the progress, everything, everywhere for that we can develop on Android application. For example, every company, every company need Android developers. Product development company, service based company, everyone, everyone need Android developers. Uh, should students have a university degree in computer science or uh, like you, they may come uh, from a different background? I am the real time example. <laughs> Anybody can learn and write, they can be from any department. Okay. And uh, what kind of background is uh, most successful for uh, getting into Android? Okay. So I can answer you this way, whatever the background it is, if you are ready to give the, I mean, if you're ready to do hard work, if you are ready to do practice, if you have an interest, you are successful. It doesn't mind whatever the background is, you are ready to learn, you are ready to give your 100 percentage, definitely Android is going to make you better, no doubt. Okay. Um, See how confident I'm saying because I know. <laughs> do you train uh, students? Uh, uh, you say that yeah, you are from India, except uh, Indian students. Uh, what kind of uh, companies uh, uh, from the world uh, invite you as a trainer? Currently, I'm working for Coding Dojo, who is an international leader in training, Coding Dojo. and. Many programs I did, you know, KPIT, they are also doing a lot of foreign programs. You know, I have delivered a program for Canadian students, Australian students, US, UK, Sri Lanka. Of course, Georgian, last time I delivered for Georgian students also. Many, many programs, many international programs. Uh, what what uh, can be the next step uh, for students after they uh, take uh, this course? So once they complete this program, once they get the certification, they can apply for job uh, through different platforms. Of course, they will get job because the program is going to be that much good. They are going to be trained by me. I know what are the questions. I mostly know. I send the students. Okay, these are the questions they will ask and. 80 to 90 percent, they ask the same questions because I'm there in the industry for more than 10 years. Even I have taken multiple interviews. I go there, they hire me for taking interviews. I hire people. So I know very well what is the recommend from company point of view, what is the recommend from interview point of view. So I, I give them good guidance how to create the interview. So they get the, they go for the interview, they can go for a company job, of course. So this is some uh, interview orientation uh, advices. It will be yep. really beneficial. I, I, I usually do that, and that's going to be very useful. And uh, do you do you know some uh, community groups where our students can join uh, to follow up uh, for further person-to-person uh, -person, uh, development? There is official Google uh, Developers Forum is there. I can tell them how to join. Once they complete this program, even Google itself is having an official group. You will be added to that group. Mm -hmm. okay. So the, the first target is uh, students to, to go for the exam and uh, pass it. And this uh, Android certification program is relatively young. It is about uh, five or six years old compared to other uh, vendors. And um, 
I see uh, they have 45 days uh, time uh, for regulation of uh, certification. Uh, we say maximum 45 days, but... Uh, what is the typical? Should we wait uh, 45 days or uh, we'll know earlier? We can know earlier, actually. So, you know, it depends on how many people are in the queue. If the queue is bigger, you get 45 days. If there is much people already done the program, and you can get it faster. Actually, I got my result. Maybe I think within 15 days, I think. 15 days. Yes. Yeah, 45 days is maximum time. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I suppose that they have a limited number of uh, uh, proctors who review uh, the project assignments and uh, depend on the number of candidates. They can review the, these materials early, uh, sooner or later. And uh, will students be able to contact you after the end of the course to get some advices? Uh, sorry. And uh, can you can you tell more about uh, the structure, for example? You tell it is a um, semi-completed project, but uh, what uh, students should do during the exam? Actually, once you I mean once you sign up for the exam, you have to install one plugin in the Android Studio. Once you install the plugin, uh, you can need to sign in with your Google account. Once you sign in, there is a button start the exam. Once you click the start the exam button, one project will be loaded in your Android Studio. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Fifty to seventy percent completed project, as well as you get instructions at the side. Okay, these are the, this is the project is about. And these are the things you need to complete it within these eight hours. And once you complete, even if you're not completing it, eight, after eight hours, it automatically submits the exam. As okay. well as the, once, once you complete the programming part, you will be asked for the interview. Face to face, actually, nowadays it's happening through a recorded exit interview. They will ask some questions about how you completed this project, how you feel about this project, some general questions. So once you clear that, if you clear the both, and you will be given the certification. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, it will be a really inter interesting uh, exam uh, compared to other exams that are usually uh, in multiple choice answer, question answers. And uh, many of our students are um, uh, in, in front of a maybe difficult choice. Should they go for iOS programming or for Android programming? What is uh, your recommendation? Of by course, Android. Android. <laughs> As I'm an Android professional, I'm going to say Android. I can I can justify why what is my answer also because iOS is not open source. Android is open source. You know the world market. Android is dominating the world market. If you see 10 people, out of 10 people, nine people are using Android mobile, right? So whatever the app you are developing, you are going to impact large number of users. So that means demand is higher. When the demand is higher, job opening is higher. So the chance of getting job in Android is higher than getting a job in Android. So that's why I say Android. Yes. Okay. Uh... Thank you very much, Ranjit, uh, for sharing this, uh, all these uh, recommendations and uh, experience. Um, I hope that uh, today's interview will help our audience to make a better decision uh, whether this course is suitable for them or not. See you again in February when our trainings uh, will start. Of course, every class his, has his own schedule. So some things start in February, some uh, may start uh, later. And uh, dear students, don't forget to apply for desired course before December 30. And uh, see you soon. Bye bye. Bye, Kenji. Thank you. Thank you, Nicola. See you guys. I'm looking forward to you. meeting you all. I think, uh, if you want to get a job, this is a good uh, time. 
a good decision to learn Android because Android is in top 10. You know, if you see a lot of courses is there in market, right? I can confidently say, confidently say that Android is in top 10. Once you learn Android, I, I cannot see anyone who is jobless. Those who learned Android, I cannot see anyone up to my 10 years. I haven't seen anyone who completed Android and who is jobless. So nowadays it's more demand compared to previous days because user base is increasing day by day. So it's going to be a good decision to choose Android and learn from me, of course. And it's going to be a good decision. Looking forward to see you all. Thank you, Nikola. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.